Um, it went as we expected, would you believe? Um, I couldn't understand the narrative uh, around this game. Um, not, not that I pay a huge amount of attention to it, but definitely some of it was getting through and it, it wasn't making sense to me. Um, we, we knew the type of game that Manon were going to bring um, today and we knew it was going to be a really tough encounter and it took all our grit, determination and experience to, to get over the line and um, we had spoken about that all week, um, that this was going to go down to the wire to the bitter end and we need to be ready for that and, uh, and thankfully we were. You weren't surprised then that the arrow was level and there for yeah, no, I think anyone did, doing proper analysis on, on Monaghan um, would see that they're, they're probably... I, I've never seen an improvement in a team like it um, in, my, in my time being involved in management. Um, and I, I know that some sort of poor performances earlier, but the adjustments they made all the way through, um, very, very cohesive, everyone really comfortable with the game plan. Um, they, they use their goalkeeper Rory Began really well in trying to create overloads and mismatches and um, yeah, you have to be so careful in how you set, set up against that because they can expose you at the front of your defensive line through those overloads and mismatches but if, if you press up and push too hard they can pick you apart in behind as well so um, they, um, yeah, they, they brought all of that and um, and we knew that, as I said, and uh, ultimately we're just very happy to get over that. We we didn't play particularly well. I think it was a, a nervy performance for us, um, a semi-final type performance, if you like, but uh, but ultimately showed enough composure and ha had a good last 10, 15 minutes and, and saw us over the line. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's um, you know, and it, I'm sure there were a lot of people, including myself, were wondering whether it was going to happen or not for ten minutes to go. But uh, you know, we backed ourselves to if we were in that position, that uh, having those types of players on the pitch at that stage um, would be a, a huge help, and uh, it proved to be the case today. You know, on another day it may not because. You know, the, all those senior lads are a little bit older and um, uh, you never know. Every game takes on a life of its own, but today it definitely worked for us. Yeah. But what, is that, like, what does that experience bring in Yeah, well, you, you can't coach it. Um, you can't give it to young fellas. Um, and they're brilliant and they're full of energy and they want to be involved and they want to be part of it. But uh, uh, there's certain things that that life experience teaches you and um, and how, how to close out big games like that is one of them, you know. So uh, uh, we're fortunate to have that type of experience in, in, and, and depth in the squad. Desi McCarthy and uh, Carl Connell, huge influences on this modern team. Uh, can you talk a good job on both of them? Yeah, the, I thought McCarthy got at us a little bit too easily in the first quarter, um, but we seem to manage uh, those two threats a little bit better from, from there out, yeah. Is it our satisfaction to be uh, back at the big dance of the fall in the semi-finals the, the last two years? Yeah, it, of course it is. It's a, you know, you set your stall out at the start of the year and uh, that's where you hope to be. And, um, you know, it's there's a lot of our players have been through it before and know what it's about, but there's... There's, I think there's over 20 lads in the squad at the minute that uh, have never been in an All-Ireland final. You know, they've been involved maybe in the last year or last two years, but an All-Ireland final is a very new experience for them. So it was very exciting for for those lads, of course, and um, and I'm sure the senior guys are sort of happy to have a taste of it again. The challenge for you that you came back, whatever the lads came back to around Christmas time, like so uh, last year, facing in the Division 2 in the league, you 
Yeah, I think you know you you just have to look at the season. It's a, it's a campaign, and you have to look at it. We look at it in different phases, you know, and you set your your targets or your objectives for the first phase, second phase, third phase, you know. So 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 thankfully we're on track, but it's the third phase is the most important, and uh, and we have a massive game coming up in two weeks, and uh, we'll judge ourselves on, on that particular um, phase um, based on that result. Uh, we're hoping so. We picked up a couple of knocks here today as well, so uh, we'll, the medical team will be busy, I'm sure. But um, yeah, you, you need everybody. You definitely need everybody. So fingers crossed that we'll have a clean bill of health. Then he's a calf injury, so it's um, you know it's 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 one of those. It's an ugly type of one, so it's. Um, yeah, we're hoping we'll get him out. Yeah. Yeah. No, no reason for for not to start him. Other than it's a it's a full, like we talk about this a lot. It's um, we've thirty nine players in the squad. Twenty six get to travel on match day. Um, and 15 get the start and you know from a strategic perspective we saw the last couple of seasons that probably not having that strength and depth on the bench is um, ended up uh, biting us and um, you know it's, it's, it's something we're trying to manage uh, this year and you know it's been clear on the last two games Jack as well but Tom De Hiff, Darren Newcomb uh, David Hannan, fellas who haven't put a foot wrong through the National League um, are, are not getting game time either, you know, so as, as we keep telling everybody it's in our setup. It'll it'll take all of us, not just some of us. Yeah, obviously, if you're not conceding goals, it's huge, particularly in tight games where, you know, the scoring isn't that free flowing. Um, a goal makes a big, big difference. It gave us a bit of daylight, albeit at, at, at very much at the end there. But um, it's yeah, it's significant to be able to keep a clean sheet in tight games like that. Okay. Thanks a million.